Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back to see me. And today I'm going to be trying on lots of pairs of boots. Not quite sure how many, but I did give you a quick glimpse at some of them. And I hope you enjoy watching. I love boots. So this is my first pair of boots, just casual black. And as you can see, heels. Can you see those heels? I love stilettos, even in boots. These are really comfortable every day. As you can see, they're quite tight, but not too tight that I can't put leggings underneath or jeans. I like wearing my boots with my jeans tucked into them. Not always, but most of the time. I just like that look. Maybe it's a bit of an 80s look. I'm not sure. I used to get all of my boots, uh, mainly for when I was working, were all handmade at a little place in London called Leatherworks, which then shut down when the man of, was very old and passed away. And uh, wasn't quite the same afterwards. But now, I just tend to buy boots from anywhere. If I see a nice pair of boots, I really don't care where they come from. If they fit and they're comfortable and look nice, they're mine. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put a different pair of boots on. I've got a favourite pair which are white. Okay, I know that sounds a bit ugh, but uh, they're really retro looking, especially with a mini skirt on. And I just love them. They're a similar shape to these. Not these are zipped at the back, as you can see, which is very awkward sometimes to get your foot in and the zip straight over your heel. But uh, I'll manage it. <laughs> but the white ones, they're side zipped, so easier to get on. Anyway, let me try them on and I'll show you. I'll see you in a moment. So, as promised, my white boots. What do you think? Please don't tell me you can't see them on the white floor. They're really comfortable, just the right height by my knees and uh, sides there. Just aren't they funky? Aren't they just so retro? I just love them. So uh, I hope you do too. As you can see, heeled stilettos. I love them. I am going to buy some more white boots, um, maybe with a bit of cream on the toe or something like that, cream heel. I've seen them, I just need to uh, source them now. But these I love and I hope you do too. So let me come a bit closer. Nicely healed. Easy to sit in because, as I said, they're just below the knee, so they don't cut up here. And there's the, again, perfect if you want to wear trousers. I've only ever worn these with mini skirts, and I've got some really funky retro mini skirts, which I like. Well, I call them mini skirts, mine are usually to the back there, just above my knee. And I've got tassely ones and all sorts, so. These are to die for with my boots. Anyway, next off, I think I'll put a longer pair of boots on, show you those. And uh, they're really wacky because they're like snake skin. And I'm absolutely sure you'll love them just as much as I do. See you again in a moment. Hi, welcome back. So here I am and I have my snake skin boots on. Okay, they are so comfortable. They feel sort of like scaly to touch, but almost like velvety as well. They're quite stretchy, as you can see. Very stretchy. They can roll down. I guess you could actually have them lower if you wanted. I have them pulled up if you wanted. Whatever 
really fancy. They have, let me pull them back up. Oh, this top is driving me crazy. That is definitely going to have to go. So, they've got a half zip, zip up from the shoe, and then the rest of it, like I said, so stretchy. So, you know, if I gain a few pounds, it doesn't matter. They'll still fit me. Lovely, lovely, lovely when you're wearing leggings. I personally wouldn't wear jeans with these, I have tried, and it didn't look right. But ladies, trust me, when you've got your leggings on, or whatever, or maybe just tights if you're wearing a skirt, a short skirt, then they'll look beautiful on you. Trust me. They feel nice, they're so comfortable, it's almost like having a second skin. They are not real snake skin, before anybody complains. Um, but trust me, they feel lovely. The foot is like walking on air. They were quite a little bit of money, um, but they're not the sort that you're gonna wear every day. So, you know, special occasions, heels as well. But again, they just don't feel like you've got heels on. They're so nice, so nice to wear. And if you like them, hammer that subscribe button and bang on that like button. Don't forget the notification bell and you'll see all of my upcoming and previous videos. Okay, so next I'm gonna try on a pair of winter boots. Okay, some of you might be thinking these are gonna be flat, but I really do not possess a flat pair of boots. Tell a lie, I've got a pair of Wellington boots, some Jules Wellington boots with Labradors on. Uh, they really are the only pair I've got. Not saying I don't like them, I've just never seen a pair that I wanted to buy. But these next winter boots, I'm hoping you'll like them. And I'll see you again in a moment. Okay, hi. These are a close-up glimpse at my favourite winter boots, okay? So, they're nice and furry. And believe me, ladies and gents, this fur goes right the way down. Okay. They're strapped. Basically just for decoration. And then you can see the wool all down the side here with all the buckles. So they're a bit like biker boots. I love them, love the heel on them also. And as I said, they're so comfortable. Who needs anything else? <laughs> anyway, have a look at me walking around in them. And that's me back again in my uh, winter boots. I'm hoping you can see these good. They are fur lined, as I explained, in the close up and Straps are just decoration, and the buckles are just decoration. Although you could tighten them if you wanted to slightly, but I don't think it makes an awful lot of difference. Um, they're completely wool inside for those winter days. You can see the wool creeping out of the edges there. They are half zipped again, a little bit like the snake ones. So the zip comes from the foot up to here. And then the rest is just, like I said, you can just pull them on. But they're so cosy and warm, I don't want to take them off. So they've got a slight platform on them, which is unusual for me because I don't normally wear platforms. Um, although I am doing better, I am getting used to them, but they like wobble. <laughs> so I can walk comfortably in them. They do look good, they feel good. They're excellent with a long coat and a dress. Or failing that, leggings or jeans again, and a big warm jumper. <clears throat> but these are definitely my number one. Which is ironic, because I never bought these. My husband did. But he picked well. He got them online and he didn't say where from. So I can't help you out there. But if you like them, great. Click the like. Uh, next pair I wear, I think I'll wear something colourful. Okay, I'm sure you want to see something colourful. <laughs> Hi, 
These are very, very colourful. Red. They're like a suede. Well, they are suede. No two ways about that one. Nice high heels, as you can see. And very, very soft. Nice heel on them. Not too high, but certainly not low. And again, just a comfortable air feeling when you walk, which is great because you want to make a good first impression. You don't want to go sliding into any restaurants or bars. These have got a smaller zip foot to just above my ankle and then the rest. I wouldn't say they're too stretchy, but uh, they, they just pull on. So they're nice. They stay up on their own. I've only ever worn these with uh, black leggings and uh, I once wore them with a black sequin pair of leggings which was not very good because the friction almost caught me on fire. <laughs> However, they did look fantastic and I do think it goes with my blue top. So, uh, like I said, love these ones. Lots of colour, wear them at Christmas or whenever you want, but uh, they're just really nice. Really, really nice, really elegant. You can wear a little mini skirt with them so it just sits above the top of the boot. And again, I suppose if you really wanted to, you could fold them down a bit. But when you've got leggings on, they grip to the leggings. They don't grip so much to the leg, but they still don't fall down. So I like them. I love the colour. Funky. <laughs> See you in another long pair of boots. Maybe with a bit of bling. Hi, now this is bling. This is my version of bling. Very, very comfortable boots. They zip up at the back. Hard to get over the heel again, like I said. But you wouldn't want them any looser because otherwise they'd feel a bit wishy-washy in your feet. But look at these. Whoa, I like that bling. In fact, no, I love that bling. Really nice. Heels again, as usual. But how cool are they? I know bling's not for everybody. But I think at least once a year, we should all just let our hair down and go wacky. In fact, for me, I probably do this all the time. Can't remember. Yeah, bling it back too. Nice, comfortable zip. They don't need constantly hoisting up because they just stay up. They're just so, they're so soft, a bit like puss in boots. But, as you can see, it doesn't matter how often I bend, they stay, they stay there, you don't have to keep oiking them up. So, I love these ones. And, uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm going to show you the close-up bit of them. And, uh, I trust you'll like them too. <laughs> Next, what should I do? I think I will try on... My last pair that zip up at the back, okay? Brown, um, every day, but elegant, good for the office, good for shopping, good for a glamorous day out, for a meal in a restaurant, or just every day. They just look smart, okay? And uh, mind you, have said that, would anybody mind if you turn up at the office in these? <laughs> Try it. Okay, here are my blingy boots. As you can see, lovely. Bling starts at the top, goes all the way down to my foot. Okay. They're just lovely. The suede. They're quite firm to wear, so they don't keep coming down your leg. You don't have to keep hoisting them up as uh, 
I did tell you earlier. They just look so cool. There's a back zip and it starts right above the heel here. That can be a little bit of a job. My trick is I usually do it about half an inch, get my foot in properly, and then it makes it easier to do the zip right the way up to the back of your knee. So, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. I love wearing them, and I'll no doubt be going out in them quite soon. <laughs> Hi. So, these ones are the elegant ones that I was telling you about. I personally would wear them in an office situation, going to work, or with a lovely long warm coat on in the winter, going for a stroll. Uh, they're very comfortable, very elegant and ladylike, I think. And there's nothing really not to like about them. They're back zips, however, I find these ones really easy to get on. Whether the different make has allowed for a little bit more wiggle room, when you get your foot in, I'm not sure. The point on the toe is perfect. The heels, lovely and high. And... Uh, just very, very nice, elegant boots to wear. And uh, I'd wear these with a dress. Or, yeah, trousers as well, maybe. But more with a dress, because I think it's such a ladylike colour. With a coat and maybe a skirt on. Or a dress. But these are nice. I'm going to show you a close-up of the toes, because I do like the toes. I love pointed toes, perfectly pointed. So I'm going to give you a real good close-up of those. And after this, I have two more pairs to put on for you. And they're going to just be quickies. Quickly put them on, take, take them off, put the next pair on, because they're both identical, they're just different colours. You know, so what can I say? Not much point in me saying too much about them until uh, you see. Anyway, these 100% must have in your wardrobe. Okay. Okay, as I said, these are the elegant boots. Perfect for office wear, I would have thought. But what I wanted to show you in close up look at the toes, look at those points. They're just perfect. Whoever made these was a shoe genius. That's my words. Anyway, I hope you like them. I love them. I love the height of the heel. And like I said, with a skirt, a dress, and a lovely warm coat, they're just perfect. Who wouldn't like them? I do. Hi. So I'm back in these boots, which I lace up the front, zip up the side, okay? They have quite a large platform on them, which, oddly enough, I told you with my winter boots, I find them tricky, but oddly enough in these, I don't. So, obviously there's a difference in the make of them from one to another boot, but they're comfortable. I'd forgotten just how comfortable these were. I've only worn them once. I've never worn the other pair that I'm going to put on next, which are a cream... Sounds like my dogs are barking. Which are a cream identical pair. So I'm not going to talk too much about them. You can see they've got an ankle strap, which you can actually loosen. And you can also loosen all of the laces on them, which is, you know, good. So it's not just for show. Personally, when I got these, I put some different laces in because the laces I came with weren't really up to it. Uh, they've got a full-on side zip. They sit slightly below my knee, which is good. So it's not quite on it, it's just below, which is really comfortable. You can bend. Do that again just to prove it. Leather. How good is that? I was going to bend on one leg then, but I thought, mm -mm, no way. Now, strangely enough, I never noticed this before, and I've just seen it in the box. 
is that these boots also came with spare insoles. Okay, can you see that there? So one for each foot, obviously. And I'm guessing, as and when I find the other box for the next pair, they did too. So that's a nice little extra touch. You know, can't go wrong with that. Anyway, I'm going to put the next pair on and show you those. Back again. Right, I've got the other pair on to show you, but before I do show you them, what I did forget to mention was that the underside of these are red. Whether that affects any of you, some people just like to purely design their outfit to match. So if you're wearing red, you got a touch of red there. Okay, I just thought I'd add that in quickly. Now, again, these are so uber easy to walk in. I can't believe that. I haven't, with these ones, actually tightened the laces properly. I need them a bit tight around there because I personally like all the laces really tight. Shows your ankles off nicely, shows your foot off elegantly. And these also came, when I looked in the bag, with some of these extra padded soles. I'm guessing for if the other ones wear out. Who knows? But I love the colour. It's like a stony cream, I would call it. It's just nice, you know? They're nice. They're not overly expensive. I think I paid around about 60 to 70, which isn't a lot for a pair of decent boots. They're well made. As I said, they are really comfortable, but it's very important to get those laces right before you go putting them on. And uh, next time I put them on, I'll do just that. <laughs> okay, so these pads, yeah? These pads are thin, so they're not going to bulk up your shoe in the boot, but they're soft. They're like, um, well, you know what they're like. They're just like an insole, but they're soft. But they're not thick padded. They're just gentle. So if the boots are tight on you to start with, it really isn't going to make it any tighter. I wouldn't worry about it, but it's just a nice touch. It's a nice afterthought for the people to put in the box with your new boots. So, let's prove it, I can do it again. Let's bend. No worries there, I'm not toppling. I can wobble, but I've got to try hard to wobble in them. And I don't mean that sort of wobble. So, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these boots. There's been a few pairs that I've put on for you. Believe me when I tell you, I could do this two, three, four times over with the amount of boots I've got. And I will be doing this again. And the next time, I think maybe I'll alter it so that I'm tying just the thigh boots on and uh, maybe some more of the pull-on ones. They're really good. And they're just great for everyday use, you know, you're not spending hours getting everything ready. So I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, you know, what can I even call it? A look into my wardrobe? Hmm. Well, actually it is in a way because my boots have got their own wardrobe. I've got these cute little hangers, which next time I'll show you because I haven't got any around here at the moment. And they just peg onto my boots and I hang my boots up nice and tidy but i hope you've enjoyed it it's a little insight into me and what i like again and don't forget please subscribe below stamp on that button and like press the like button if you've enjoyed it don't forget that notification bell and i will see you all very very soon with more exciting things